Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and we're going to take a quick look at the new Akai MPX8 mobile SD sample player. This inexpensive little number allows you to load samples via an SD card and assign them to backlit, velocity, and pressure sensitive pads so you can play them. You can also use it to trigger other sample playback devices, maybe a virtual sampler in your Mac or PC, for example. It's not quite a drum machine since there is no sequencer inside, but you can sequence it from external devices like a computer-based digital audio workstation or MIDI sequencer or drum machine. Let's take a quick look. The MPX-8 is housed in an ultra-portable plastic chassis that only weighs one pound. Power is supplied via the USB port, either from your computer or the included USB power adapter. Also on the side here are two eighth inch mini jacks that are actually MIDI in and out ports and two eighth inch to MIDI cables are included. And of course, MIDI information is also transmitted and received via the USB port. On the other side are the unbalanced quarter inch stereo outputs. An eighth inch headphone jack is on the front of the unit and the SD card slot and Kensington lock slot are on the back. The MPX8 can accommodate SD or SDHC cards of up to 32 gigabyte capacity and the card needs to be formatted to a FAT16 or FAT32 format. Controls are pretty streamlined. The star players are the eight backlit drum pads and as I indicated, they're both velocity and pressure sensitive Although I should note that the pressure sensitivity is only sent to the MIDI out as polyphonic aftertouch messages. It does not affect playback of the internal samples. The pads light up to indicate their current states. When you assign a sample, the pad goes from having no color to lighting up orange. When it's playing, it lights up green, and then when it's being edited, it lights up red. Akai's been making various pad controllers for a while now, so the ones on the MPX-8 feel quite nice to play, although I was a bit surprised you can't adjust the velocity curves on them to suit your playing style. Maybe that's something we'll see in a firmware update. The little display is fairly primitive, but it certainly gets the job done, displaying the kit, its location, the currently selected sample, and its parameters. Parameters can be adjusted with the cursor keys and data knob, or on your Mac or PC, using the MPX-8 Sample Kit Editor software, which is available as a free download from Akai. The MPX-8 comes with eight internal kits composed of 21 sampled sounds, including 909 and 808 drum machine sounds, bass and synth sounds, and some vocals and effects. Pretty basic stuff, but useful nonetheless. Of course, you can create and store up to 99 of your own kits on an SD or SDHC card. Akai's website actually offers quite a bit of drums, percussion, loops, and other samples for free for the MPX-8. The MPX-8 can have a total of up to 30 megabytes of samples assigned to the pads at one time. And I should point out that the size of the samples in memory gets rounded up in the MPX-8's memory allocation. So if you have a sample that's 3.1 megabytes, it uses 4 megabytes of memory. The only sample format the MPX-8 can use are 16-bit WAV files, although they can have sample rates of 48, 44.1, 32, 22.02 or 11.205 kilohertz. Do make sure that you install the most recent firmware update. Our unit only played mono files until we updated the firmware, and then we were able to play stereo files, so that turned out to be a pretty significant upgrade. In terms of the parameters you can adjust, samples can be tuned up or down by a rather limited four semitones in either direction. Three different trigger modes are possible, with one shot, Pressing the pad will trigger the entire sample from beginning to end once. In hold mode, when you press and hold the pad, the sample will play until the end and then loop back to the beginning and keep looping until you release the pad. Finally, in loop mode, pressing the pad once will play the sample and it will loop continuously until you press the pad again. Reverb, volume levels, and panning can be adjusted, and you can also adjust the MIDI note number each pad is sending when you're using the MPX-8 to trigger samples on your computer or external MIDI gear. And that pretty much covers the Akai MPX-8 mobile SD sample player. It's rather limited, and I wish it had the ability to play more sample formats, but it's also very inexpensive and very portable, making it a good fit for any number of users. Musicians, obviously, can use it in live and studio situations. DJs can use it to play drums or samples over their live sets. Podcasters and sound professionals can use it to trigger music cues and sound effects. You name it. 
Now one accessory I'd recommend when purchasing the Akai MPX-8 is an SD or SDHC card for your custom kits and sounds since it doesn't come with one and we carry a lot of them at B&H from several manufacturers including Lexar, SanDisk, Sony and more. I'm Rob from B&H and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.